What is Curadont Repair? Curadont Repair is a remarkable new product that gives us the ability to regenerate tooth crystal and move from this drill and fill mindset into liquid enamel regeneration. So if you're looking for a product that can reverse those early caries lesions, take care of those little kiddos before the caries lesions have gotten to the point of where you're thinking, oh, I'm gonna have to, what am I gonna put this child through to treat this lesion? We can stop those things in their tracks and reverse those caries lesions with peptide scaffold. So it's this new concept of regenerating hydroxyapatite rather than just remineralizing the surface zone. What makes Curadont Repair so innovative for the dental industry? Curadont's innovative for the dental industry because it, it allows us to respect tooth crystal and regenerate it rather than cutting it away and trying to replace it with something that's inferior to tooth crystal. Plus, it's, it also takes remineralization far deeper than we ever have before because all of our other remineralization technology tends to stop right at the surface of the caries lesion. This actually kind of grows down into these caries lesions. How do you use Curadont Repair? Curadont Repair is pretty darn easy to use. The only thing you need to worry about is getting the tooth squeaky clean first. So focus on getting that biofilm off the tooth, remove the pellicle, because remember there's a pellicle underneath that biofilm. So we get that off with something like, like sodium hypochlorite. And then if the enamel, if you think that some remineralization might have occurred already and that surface zone is fairly well mineralized, we need to open some pores in that surface zone with something like a little gentle phosphoric acid etch. Once you get that done, it's as simple as activating the, the Curadont and taking the sponge, and which is very different than a micro brush. And there are a couple different ways to use it. Everyone finds out what works best in their own hands. But what I've found works is if I'm applying it in approximately, I'll, I'll take an instrument and hold down the end of the sponge and I can start twisting the sponge and wringing it out on the tooth. You can also fold it over depending on, on where you are in the mouth and what surface you're trying to get it on. It's just a matter of, of wringing the sponge out and getting the liquid off the sponge and into the tooth where you want it to go. So I found that with one unit dose, you can usually apply it to roughly three, maybe four teeth, depending on, on what surfaces you're trying to get it on. Uh, what are the benefits of Curadont Repair for the dental office? For dental office, there are lots of benefits to using Curadont Repair. For one, it, open up, it opens up a whole different dimension of how to treat tooth decay, and it takes the treatment of tooth decay into the hands of people who you've never been able to, to utilize their skill set before. So anyone who can apply fluoride varnish can apply this product, whether that's a hygienist, a dental assistant, or a dentist. Um, and it can be part of, a, a, of any sort of treatment uh, at the end of, an, of a patient appointment while you have, you know, you, you restored one lesion. Now you need to, you've got these other lesions over on the other side of the mouth, which are smaller, and you're going to say, well, let's try to remineralize those. So the great thing also is now you apply this liquid to the tooth, you can verify with radiographs and with clinical presentation that the lesions aren't getting any bigger over time. And that to me is a huge win that we preserve that tooth crystal rather than removing it and replacing it with an inferior material. What are the benefits of Curadont Repair for patients? I think there are a lot of benefits from, from the patient's perspective for Curadont. So number one, uh, there's no pain. There's no pain in using Curadont. It's just the, the feeling of liquid being applied to the tooth. Number two, there's no stain like you get with high dose fluorides or even silver diamine fluoride. Number three, there are no side effects because this is a, a peptide scaffold. It's a sequence of amino acids that we're putting on the tooth, which is going to uh, self-assemble into this peptide, which grows into the tooth. So there are no side effects to using the chemistry. And who wouldn't want to have a liquid put on their tooth instead of having a shot and a drill put in their mouth? What is the difference between Curadont Repair and Silver Diamine Fluoride? There are a lot of differences between Curadont Repair and Silver Diamine Fluoride. For one, Silver Diamine Fluoride will always leave a dark scar on the tooth, even if you apply potassium iodide afterwards. You always wind up with silver phosphate staining on the tooth when you use Silver Diamine Fluoride. You don't see that with Curadont Repair because Curadont Repair is a peptide which is looking for calcium. So. From that perspective, there's, there's no difference in the way the tooth looks after the treatment with silver diamond fluoride versus Curadon. One you can see, the other one, the tooth either looks better than it did before or there's no change at all. With silver diamond fluoride, you're going to see that dark stain. Plus the taste, the taste is very different because silver diamond fluoride tastes horrible and anyone who's ever had a child taste it knows that the moment you use silver diamond fluoride and the child tastes it, the appointment is over. You don't have that problem with Curadon repair because it just tastes like minty liquid. What is your experience with Curadont Repair? I've been using Curadont Repair probably longer than anyone else in the United States. I first started using it back in around 2017, and I've used it consistently ever since. My first experience using it was applying it to my, some really high caries risk patients. I was really worried about what I was going to do for them in the future. Uh, these were patients who had trigeminal neuralgia. They, had, uh, they were terrified of the dentist 
could not come in for traditional dental care because of their, their fear. And, and it, when we did do clinical dentistry on them, it, it led to severe pain in, in the future. So those were the first patients I started using it on. And they immediately accepted this notion of uh, me just putting a liquid on their tooth to, to stop things. And ever since, I've tracked some of those caries lesions over time using like the canary laser, which allows us to figure out how much calcium and phosphate did the tooth pick up after you applied a certain treatment. In my initial uh, analysis of caries lesions that I was treating with the Curedont liquid, um, this was before we had the, the version which is now available in the United States, what I saw was that lesions typically became half the size they were, meaning they picked up 50% more calcium and phosphate than they would have if we had done nothing to them. And once I started seeing that, that uh, remineralization occurring within the canary laser being able to analyze it, I realized, well, if it's happening and the laser is picking up on this, clinically, I, these things should not progress over time. And I continue to see those lesions that I first treated uh, now almost six years ago, those lesions still have not progressed. And these are lesions that I'm thinking of on the facial surface of mandibular canines, which are always, uh, if I, anytime I see a caries lesion on a mandibular canine, I start getting really concerned about the patient's caries risk. But I haven't seen these lesions on those patients uh, continue. So. Uh, over the years, those patients stick out uh, the most to me as the most successful cases I've used it on. I've used it on some very extreme caries risk patients, and I'm thinking about uh, like college-age diabetic patients who have uncontrolled, their diabetes is really uncontrolled, they're away from home for the first time. Oral hygiene tends to fall away um, when, they go to, when they go away to school and flossing stops. I've tried cured on, on those patients. Those are the patients who I've found that you really need to make sure that these patients don't think, don't hear this idea that I'm gonna put this liquid on your tooth and we'll never have to worry about it again. Those are the patients where I've seen, uh, in those really extreme patients, I've seen cured on not giving the same remineralization that it did in other patients. However, what was really cool about those patients and the one I'm thinking of in particular, it was one lesion that appeared to progress instead of arresting and, and stopping. And, and so I actually entered the tooth surgically to, to place a class two restoration. But when I actually drilled into the tooth, there was no actually infected, there was no actual infected dentin inside the tooth. Instead, what I found was hard, clean dentin that was the, the same color as it normally is. Now, radiographically, it looked like there was some radiolucency, but Clinically, when I entered the tooth, the enamel was rock hard like granite, and there was no infected dentin in the tooth at all. It was one of those moments when every, in every dentist's uh, clinical time or clinical day when, when you say, ugh, I didn't need to cut into that tooth. So uh, now that I've seen that, um, I have even more confidence that I have than I've had in the past, even watching those caries lesions not progress for six or seven years now. So that's the only time I've seen it uh, not have the effect I wanted. I'm sure there are other patients that I've lost track of over time, but most patients come in, come in now just assuming, well, you're gonna put that liquid on my tooth, right? Or how does that, how does that cavity look that we put that stuff on a couple of years ago? And I, I have to say, I'm, I'm pleased to say, it sure looks like it's working, and, and I realize that every time we apply it again to a tooth and show that we've, we've stopped the restorative cycle, we're just adding to the volume of evidence that, that really pushes, pushes the envelope towards what we're all trying to do in dentistry, which is really make patients healthier. How do you explain Curedont Repair to your patients? When I'm introducing Curedont Repair to a patient, it's usually those patients who have like an E1, an E2, an incipient lesion, something interproximal, but I usually use it on those radiographically apparent uh, small little lesions where you think, normally I would just watch this and I've never really been one to watch it. So I say to patients, a lot of dentists would probably just say, it doesn't need a filling yet, but you're in my office. And in my opinion, what would probably be best is to say, uh, would you rather have me wait and do nothing and just see this cavity get bigger? Would you rather have me put a liquid on here that can actually help the tooth crystal regenerate and reform and actually make the tooth harder? Or would you rather I cut into the tooth and place a filling? Of course, that's gonna require me to actually anesthetize you. So I give the patient the option of, you know, what would you rather do? Of course, there's, you know, the other option is if you just go home and stop eating candy, stop eating sweets, brush your teeth nonstop, and you just take better care of your teeth, that may work as well. Or I've got this really cool liquid which can kind of get you over that hump and, uh, and kind of just jumpstart the healing process. If, I don't know, are you game for that? How do you see Curedont Repair entering the future oral care protocols? Well, I see Curedont actually creating a whole new paradigm for the way dentists are viewed. So I, I think of dentistry as moving towards oral health care, and especially when you look at value-based reimbursement, value-based care, and this idea that, that patients 
are learning they don't have to have a restoration place in the mouth. They can reverse their cavities through liquid therapeutics in the office and going home with new preventive products that they can use. It opens up this, it, it's going to further the adoption of things like AI technology to monitor caries lesions over time. We're able to put technology into patients' hands where they can monitor their, their cavities at home in their own bathrooms and find out if their lesions are reversing or progressing. And so Curidon is just the, the perfect puzzle piece to this whole new vision of what of, of a, a system of oral health care looks like versus a system of just dentistry.